Hi guys, I've got a request from Don P to turn a light bulb on and off with a switch. Now, I assume he doesn't just mean the wall switch. I could do a video of me switching it on and off. I'm guessing what he really means is to use one of these infrared remote switches. So, intercept the wire that goes to the light, put it into this switch so that we can turn it on and off with the remote control. So that's what I'll do. First of all I'll unplug it. So there we are. This light's actually faulty for a different reason, but it works for straight on and off. So making sure that I've got the plug disconnected. We'll cut the wire. And then divert it into the switch. Depending on exactly where you want to do this, you might be able to use what I call a chocolate block here, which is a series of connectors. Or you may want a proper sealed box to make the wires safe. I'll use this just so it's easy to see in the video. So we've got our bit of wire that we've cut. We're going to need a little bit of extra wire, so if we cut it again, and strip the insulation off, we can use the wire that's in here. Because we need some wire to connect up to here. So I just cut a short way into there. If your light is fairly modern, it'll still have this tag on it that actually tells you which colour is which. So blue is neutral, brown is live. And normally you would be putting the switch on the live side. So brown is live, so we want the brown wire to be the one that's going to go through the relay because that's the switch. I've stripped all of these off and we've got a bit of spare wire now so I'll now strip the insulation off the end of each one. I'll just do one as an example. So I've stripped the end off. It's always a good idea to give the conductors a good twist to hold them together. We're in macro mode, or close-up mode, so I'll just point out a few things. This side is the electronics that react to the infrared. Just there is the infrared sensor. And those two little pins sticking up are the power supply that operate the switch. So I'll just plug that in. That's the power. We've got four relays here. We only need one to do the job, so we'll use number one. And these are the terminals for the relay contacts. There is a little diagram just here which tells you which one's which. The middle one is the common. This one is the normally closed, which means if you connect wires to it, they'll be connected together. And this one is the normally open, which means if you connect wires to there, then it will be open circuit until the relay operates. When the relay operates, the normally closed becomes open, and the normally open becomes closed. So we need to connect our two power wires to the common and the normally open. So I've put my two wires into the terminals and screwed them tight. I'm now going to put them into the chocolate block, as I call it. doesn't matter where we put it, but I'm going to put it into the middle two. 
So we're now through to the chocolate block. So we can connect the light and the power supply into position. So now we've got the wires that go to the light connected here and the wires that go to the plug connected here. The, the live or the hot wire as they call it in America, the brown one, is going from the plug through the switch to the light. It goes through the light, comes back on the blue wire and goes nowhere because I cut the wire straight through the middle, didn't I? So now we're going to use the blue bit of wire to connect from the blue there to the blue there so that we complete the circuit. There we are. So the blue goes through there, around the wire, to the blue there. We could have just put that wire straight onto there. That would have done the same job. But I've done it this way just so it's clear visually what's going on. So the blue goes all the way through and the brown goes through the switch and back again. I've plugged the wire into the power socket on the wall. Light is off. There's no power to this so pressing the button makes no difference. Add the battery supply to the remote switch. So the LEDs come on, I think that's probably visible. So now turn the light on and off using button number one. So there you go, how to turn on a light switch using an infrared remote control. Hope that helps.